So we're going to simplify algebraic fractions. I've put about three or four different GCSE type. These are usually two marks. These are usually three or four marks questions. So we're going to start off from this one. We're going to factorize first. So if you haven't watched my factorizing quadratics, watch that first because I won't waste too much time on this one. So if you take this one first, I'm going to factorize the numerator. So from here, because we have x on both sides, we will get x out and we have x plus 5. Okay? Divided by, I'm going to factorize the denominator. Because it's x squared, if you watch my videos, you will have two brackets. Okay? Now, we need to find the factors of 10 that when we add, will give you 7. So if you look at the factors of 10, it's 1 times 10, 2 times 5. So I can see it will be 2 and 5. Because it's 7, 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 times 5 is 10. So this will be plus 2, plus 5. Now it's easy. You can see that there's x plus 5 at the top, x plus 5 denominator. Close that out. You're left with x over 2x. So your answer is x over x plus 2. And this is your answer. That is why it's worth only two marks. Now let's come down to this one. We have 3x squared plus 9x. So factorize 3x out. You'll be left with x plus 3. This in my videos, factorizing quadratics, I said this is called difference of 2 squared. So that would be x plus 3, x minus 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. Difference means change the sign there. You can see there's x plus 3 here, x plus 3 there. Cross that out. We're left with 3x over x minus 3. That is your answer. Very simple one. Now this, it says, write this in the form of ax plus b over x plus c. So follow the same process. Let's factorize this one up. This, I'll do it one by one so you can see how we do the top one. So we have 3x squared plus 11x minus 4. Remember in my video, I said we can write here as 3x, write here as 3x, okay? Now do 3 times 4, that is 12. Write down your factors of 12, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Now we need to make positive 11 and minus 12. So we're looking for the numbers that times to give you minus 12. But the same numbers should add to give you 11. So this cannot be possible. That cannot be possible. It's left with 1 times 12. So what it means is, if I put 12 here and put minus 1 here, 12 times minus 1 is minus 12. If I put 12 here and I put minus 1 here, 12 plus minus 1 is 11. So it means I can have plus 12 here, minus 1 here. Divide everything here by the number that was at the front, which is 3. This side can be divided by 3, so this would become x plus 4. Keep this one the same, so 3x minus 1. So it means if you factorize this, this is what you will get, okay? Then let's look at the denominator one. I won't waste too much time on that, because that is similar to what I did over here. Put your x, put your x, okay? The down one is minus 4. So write down your factors of 4. That is 1 times 4, 2 times 2. We want to make positive 3, so it can never be this one. So it has to be 1 times 4. That gives you 4. So here we want minus 4. So the 4 would be positive. So that would be plus 4, minus 1. Because 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Now we can see that there's x plus 4 at the top, x plus 4 down. Cross that out. You are left with 3x minus 1 over x minus 1. Compare it to this one. So here it means from the answer, if I compare this to this, it means a is equal to 3. Because this is ax. This is 3x. It means b is equal to minus 1. And it means C over here is also equal to minus 1. Finished. And you get all your three marks. So if you are confused, go back, watch my video on factorizing quadratics. I did videos on factorizing quadratic with coefficient. This type, quadratic without a coefficient. This type, and I did the difference of two squares. So go and watch that video. 
Now this is divide. Remember when I did dividing and multiplying fractions, I said keep this the same, flip this one upside down. So here we would have 2x minus 2 over x plus 5. Change the sign to times KFC. Flip this one upside down. So it's 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. And K, let me write my 3. Divided by the top one. So flip down x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now, factorize them out. Go to this side first. We'd have 2 on the outside. Why am I bringing 2 out? Because there's 2 and 2, so it's common. So bring that out, x minus 1. This you cannot factorize, so you leave it the same, x plus 5. Times, let's go to this side. Remember the same method I did over here? We're going to use the same principle here. So here, you can write it as 2x in one bracket here, 2x in another bracket. 2 times that is 30. You want to make 13. So we can see that it will be 10 and 3. So plus 10, plus 3. And when I did it over here, I said you divide everything by 2. So I'm only factorizing the top one just to show you. So 2 can cancel this side out. So my factorized answer would be x plus 5. Okay? x plus 5. That is for the top one. I just explained it. Now let's factorize the down one here. That would be x here. Close the bracket, another x, close the bracket. Factors of 3, where is only 1 and 3. I want minus 4, so it will be minus 1, minus 3. I have finished my factorizing. Now, we can see that there's x plus 5 here, there's x plus 5 at the top. You can cross them out in this way. It doesn't matter, this is on the left and this is on the right. But if you are confused, you can rewrite them because they are being multiplied. So we can rewrite them. So look at this so you don't get confused. The top one will now become 2x minus 1 times by x plus 5 times by 2x plus 3. You can write them all together like that. It's the same. That one, I'll bring the, this one first so you can see x minus 1. Then I'll bring the x plus 5. Then x minus 3. So that you can see that I can cancel them quickly. This can cancel this. This can cancel this. So what do I have left at the top? I have 2 times by 2x plus 3. So that's 2 times by 2x plus 3. What do we have down here? Only x minus 3. Can we do anything to this again? No. So your answer is 2, 2x plus 3 all over x minus 3. Okay, so take your time. I could have cancelled straight from here, here from there. But I just wanted you to see that when you are confused, you can rewrite them so you follow top, up, down, down, and cross them out. So this is a quick video on how to simplify algebraic fractions. I'll do another video on how to solve algebraic fractions because some of the time they'll ask you to solve and, and make it equal to something. We'll look at that. So I hope this is very helpful. I have run through it very quick because I've already done factorizing quadratics on my previous videos. So go and watch that before watching this. If you don't get this, go and watch that. And this is how easy we factorize or simplify algebraic fractions. So hopefully this should help you. And if you have any question, comment, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.